So I'm back in my car. Hi everybody, it's Sarah Donovan. It is um, Thursday. Thursday, day 14 of the Slice of Life Challenge. And I uh, started with, it's really windy here. It's 60 degrees in Chicago now, but it's really windy. And I was driving to uh, my class, I'm at the college right now, and I was noticing like my hands were gripping the steering wheel and the leaves were shaking and I was noticing that I was starting to feel that flutter in my heart too because uh, I'm anticipating something that's happening later today. Um, about a year ago I published my first book, Alone Together. It was a book that I wrote in verse. You can kind of see. So I know I'm doing these slices of video, but I do write too. And uh, well, I wrote the book because I needed to get it off, get the story off of me, and get it out of my heart and onto a page, and um, and and pass it along to other people to to hold on to and to ponder and to read through and hopefully enjoy. And a year later, you know, I'm, I'm hearing some people reading it and writing nice reviews on um, Goodreads and Amazon. But I didn't anticipate that I would actually have to do a lot of talking about the book and, and meeting people. And so tonight, after class, so I'll teach writing. I teach a writing class here. I'm, at this, I'm pointing at the school. You can't see it. Um, at three, from 3.30 to 5. And... Um, and then later on tonight at 8, I'm, I'm meeting um, a group of, of um, moms in the neighborhood who, who chose my book for their book group. So I'm going to come and, and crash their book group for a little bit and talk about the book. And I'm really excited that they're reading it, and I can't wait to hear what they're thinking about it. But then there's this other side of me that is, I'm an introvert, and it's very hard for me to go, and I'm having this little, my voice is getting faster and my heart is racing because I'm getting nervous I'm getting very nervous about doing this yes I talk in front of students all the time and every day but there's just something very um, scary and just really out of my comfort zone to go and, and you know and, and talk about this book tonight so um, so I'm just kind of checking in with you right now and I started with the branches in the video because I'm trying to tell a story because it's a slice of life story and I haven't been doing a good job with the story so First, I started with the branches, and I feel like that's sort of a metaphor for me that's shaking. And um, we'll see if the weather calms down and if my heart can calm down so that I can be present enough to enjoy this moment later. So I'll check back in with you a little bit later. So my class just ended, and today was a day. Uh, this is a freshman college class. And uh, freshman is in, yeah, freshman college class, composition class. So today we had a project due, and it's also midterm, and so I have, um, well, the students all submitted their journals, <laughs> their journals um, that I'm looking at, and their other uh, final project, with the, an essay that they wrote with an infographic and that, that they posted online, so I'm looking at that too. And so, you know, know that in, you know, about an hour and a half, I'm going to be headed to my uh, book talk or my, you know, the book group that I told you about. So that's on my mind, but really for the last, um, you know, two hours that I've been working with the writers here and who, you know, everyone has different majors. Some are engineering, some are um, welding. There's a welding major. There's um, a psychi psychology major. There's a um, computer science major. So all these different people are in this class. Um, and yet I'm trying to help them become writers and see that what they can do with their writing. So everyone was writing about things that they know very well and and we published it today and we got to read each other's work and and I as I was talking to them about, you know, publishing is really uncomfortable and and putting our work out into the world is really uncomfortable and we can be really nervous about it, but we write and we have this opportunity to teach other people and move their hearts and minds with our writing. And I'm, you know, listening to myself tell these, this bits of advice to the writers, and I'm thinking, okay, you have to remember this, you're doing the same thing. It doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't make it any easier to do it, but this is the best part. So after everyone published their writing, then we all read each other's work and wrote comments. Now, I make sure that the students know that their job is to 
celebrate the writing and and, improve, and and give them compliments and encouragement. And my job will be to give maybe some revision uh, suggestions next. Um, but of course, in the service of becoming stronger writers. So, so I have a little bit of time to read their journals, a little bit of time to take a breath before I head to my next part of the day. And, and I'm hoping that this moment right now can stay with me as I then move to another room of people who, um, you know, who read my work and, and think that it's not about me at this point. Like I wrote it, I published it, now it is about the reader. And, and if I hold on to that, maybe I won't be like those branches in the wind. And... Okay, everybody is getting close to the time that I'm gonna go inside the house. Uh, it's dark out now. I can still feel the wind going, uh, blowing. It's kind of shaking my car. Um, I'm parked in front of the house, so this probably looks a little weird. Um, but yeah, so it's 7.30. Uh, it's now 41 degrees, so it's gotten a little bit colder. I'm done with my class. I am arrived at the house where I'm going to talk about my book, and I'm taking deep breaths and reminding myself that this is not about me. Once I've written something and shared it with the world, it belongs to them, and I'm here to hear their story and how alone together the book that I wrote is impacting their reading lives and um, and you know, just their evening together and um, I just wanted to try to be present um, and you know celebrate this moment where people have invited me into their home um, to talk about something that I wrote and how it has impacted them so um, so good night and thanks for following me through this uh, the, all the shaky branches and um, I'm going to survive. It'll be okay. <laughs> uh, so I'll see you tomorrow for the uh, day 15th of the Slice of Life Challenge from the Two Writing Teachers. Bye. Wish me luck.